Hey guys, got some pretty sad news here if you are wondering about the iPhone 4S. Now, uh, we've had those rumors uh, about the RAM, that it will get like 1GB of RAM. Uh, but it seems like it's just going to catch up with Android and get 512MB of RAM, the same amount of RAM that the iPhone 4 had. Uh, but we should remember uh, that this is something Apple usually do and we should also remember that iOS isn't uh, that of a big memory hog as Android is uh, because Android is taking up a lot of you know memory uh, but still uh, it's not more RAM that you can get in an Android device but usually the software thing is, is most uh, you know the most important thing and we should also remember that uh, it's the same amount of RAM 512 megabytes of RAM as, as you would get in an iPad 2 and also it's the same processor uh, as the iPad 2 in the iPhone 4s but uh, I, I think it's on the clock uh, because it's a smaller device uh, but this could be because uh, you know they, they want to add you know or they didn't have enough space but I think that it's just bull crap. Uh, but what I do, I'm I'm getting kind of worried when I hear this that uh, it only has 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, when I see how much uh, you know my device is taking up, and I have 768 megabytes of RAM on my Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, but yeah, as I said, Android takes up more, and we have like widgets and cool things like that, like live wallpapers. Don't think you guys know what that is, uh, but that that's kind of like cool stuff. Uh, but I also uh, thinking about this thing like the iPhone 4s. Um, it is, you know, catching up with 8 megapixel camera, dual core processor, and um, you know, same amount of RAM, so they aren't really catching up there. But uh, what I'm thinking about here is that if you're gonna buy the iPhone 4s, uh, you have to think about the future, uh, because I mean, 512 megabytes RAM. I mean, you think iOS 7? Uh, think. Yeah, what else should we think? Uh, I think that Apple is going to do, you know, more widget stuff in the future, and uh, it's going to be very, very interesting to, uh, you know, g dig more inside of iOS 5 because I think I'm going to make a comparison between the latest Android, like 2.3.5 or 2.3.4, versus iOS 5 when I get my Apple Touch fourth generation, and uh, that's, that's going to be kind of fun to do. And also, if some guy is going to, you know, make move over Siri uh, to the Apple Touch 4G and uh, possibly the iPad 2, then that's also going to be kind of awesome. And also, if this iPhone 4S do have 512 megabytes of RAM, uh, then I am going to be kind of, or I would be kind of pissed off at Apple if they don't announce Siri for iPad because that basically means it have the same specs. So why don't, uh, or yeah, why don't iPad get it, you know? Isn't that kind of awkward that Apple would do that? Um, and uh, they are, you know, just uh, trying to, or they know that these, uh, you know, devices can handle Siri, uh, but they only want to have it like an exclusive feature on the iPhone 4S, so they will sell more devices. That could also be one of the reasons, but hopefully the jailbreak team uh, will, you know, port over Siri to other iDevices as well, because I think that they will be able to run on, let's say, the iPad 2 uh, as well. So, yeah, so that is all I have to say right now. And also, the iPod Touch. Uh, fourth generation, it has uh, 256 megabytes of RAM, so you get 50% more on the iPhone 4S, but we should also remember that the iPhone 4S costs like 50% more. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you get a better processor and better camera in the iPhone 4S, but yeah, software and everything is the same, but just want you to let you know about that so you do know if you buy this device that it's probably only only 512 megabytes of RAM and I mean it's kind of disappointing after like 15-16 months uh, that they only update the CPU uh, and the camera and the software 16-15 months yeah what are they doing there I'm not sure but yeah quick update see you.